It's time for the final season of SAO. I know people say that technically this is still season three because it's two cores of 24 fat episodes. But regardless, we have 24 more episodes of SAO left and then we'll figure out what to replace SAO through a community poll. Let's begin today's reaction. October 21st, 380. I wonder how much time has passed since, you know, the finale yesterday. Yeah, I hear that this season is even better than the last season, which is crazy to me. Alice! She farming? Selka. They reunited. But did Selka know that this is not really her? Okay. He on a wheelchair? Cause, oh right, cause what happened? His flux light got fried, right? The last thing we remember is the flux light getting fried because we're under attacked by the people we saw in episode 1 of season 3 from the GGO side, which is the other death gun and the boss who's called Budo, okay? Kirito. Oh shit. This is fucked because like, the reason that we even made it into season 3 after he got Zaza death gunned is like, we need to have Medicupoid technology to save him before he turns into a vegetable. But like, now we're actual vegetable in game as well. What the fuck? In the far north. Special move. Starburst wheel dual wheeling. Which one? Night Sky Blade? Blue Rose? They returned to Blue Rose rather than being Blood Rose. Hmm. Bro's dual wielding while dual wheeling. This is not Ruled Village, is it? I don't know anymore, actually. He can't hear you, I don't think. This is a depressing start to a season, man. He ain't there. Finale! The floodlight's gonna get fried! Upper shaft. There is a safe place. Yep, this. But we also saw Asuna kind of like descend, you know? I was like, Yu-Gi-Oh? No, no, Berkeley, Berkeley. It's not even the same here, what I'm talking about. What's going on, Berkeley? What I guess it makes sense because, you know, uh, Chud got defeated and, you know, to defeat, to release the Paris, you know, the, the fucking petrification just kill him too. What happened to them? Quinella and Chud. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! and little Alice disappeared together, right? That's kind of a thing that's been confirmed. But did Quinella and Chud also disappear like that? Because Quinella, I think, has some other plans, but I don't think we've seen the end of her. I'm not too sure. Did they die together? It wasn't really confirmed. I don't know. I'm still... Because, like, she said, why would you, right? As Chud literally got to smash by the end. Like, I can't believe he fucking did it. Like, did they, like, combine into two? Like, who knows, man? そんな、そんな<laughs> Yo, where the fuck are the rest of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these two aren't even. They barely count as knights. I thought there's 30 motherfuckers, bro. And like these four are fillers. The four heavenly blades my ass. That's just an excuse that you don't have to make other fucking integrity knights, you lazy asshole. That's 
She an evil conniving bitch. One's dead, the other is pretty much dead. The war. Half the ranks, as in like, the rest of them are dead. They fought the Dark Knights and they're dead. They got off screen. Sure. We're cooked. Alright. Let's get more integrity knights. Let's go, Berkeley. June 9th, 380. CGI his training, baby. This is still the past, right? Because in the beginning, I think we saw October assumption. I forget. August, I forget. Man. I guess we're not gonna... It would cause mass chaos and panic if we kind of confronted everyone with the logic of like the truth, right? Hmm. Is there no way to like clear our name? Like we should be a hero right now, but they still think we're sus because what? It would cause panic if we told everybody? Also, completely off base. Quinella, I was looking for some Quinella fan art, you know, to appreciate her more, but unfortunately, there is not much of her. Just like Elsa Granhild. It kind of sucks. But the beauty of AI technology opened my mind. Like, unfortunately, there's no regular artist drawings of Elsa and Quinella. But there's a lot of AI, and I was like, oh. There's also Chud. I found one with Chud and Quinella. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. You think that Chud got it? Ch you think Chud got lucky last episode? No. You. The things that I have seen, the things that I've witnessed. <laughs> Chud keeps winning, bro. Let me just tell you that. Chud keeps fucking winning. Alright, we're at Rulid Village. That's the guy that was our bully, right? Dad, she doesn't really know, because obviously it's not the old Alice. What is the criminal doing here? Chain her up! Call the Integrity Knights! Aris. Dad's about to fucking sell her off, bro. It's the church again. Okay. It's a pretty good explanation. <laughs> this dad, bro. I mean. It's kind of funny how in episode 1 of season 3, he also just fucked Alice up. And now in episode 1 of season 4, he also just comes back to do the same shit. This dad, bro. <laughs> and also, the taboo index doesn't matter anymore, right? Because obviously people are still living in fear of breaking that shit. But the, uh, the senators, right? It's all gone. Chud is gone. No one is monitoring that shit. It shouldn't matter if you can break it. But I wonder if code 871 will still appear, right? That's probably still should. All right, we took Selka with us. Would like to see Selka said, fuck you, dad. You're not really like my sister. Yeah. And they make us do their jobs? Yeah. 
村の近くに住まわせてもらえるだけでもし来年には見習い期間が終わって少しだけどお給金がもらえるようにの手伝いなんかしなくていいからね。姉様とキリトは、wow. 私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は
Cut them all down, dude. They're trash. Quick. Yeah, you're right. Quinella was right. Yeah. These motherfuckers should just all get turned into a fucking robot and fight against the dark territory, bro. These people do not deserve any of this. All for what? So we can cut down trees once a month? This is cool that they're getting the dragon of Alice's to actually like, you know, be part of the story because last season we didn't really get to see anything, but like it's hanging around with us now. Amayori getting thick? Yo, Amayori, your belly! Good night. Say, ah, Kirito. Ah. I mean, he does chew. There's some body functions there. Is that Amaori sound? Which night? Ber Berkeley? Amaori no ani ryu. No, no. Takiguri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oni. Oji. Oji sama. Ew, Eldrie. No. Nani o desu ka? Where's Oji sama at? They're siblings, though, huh? The two dragons? Is he here for Kirito? What the fuck does that mean? Oh shit, the goblins are back! The dark territory! The dark territory! They're mobilizing。洞窟の真の一匹すらも見ませんでしたよ。洞窟の中も天井まで岩で埋まっておりました。聞いたところ、滝栗が妙に騒ぎましてね。道引かれるまま飛んでみたら、この場、再び愛まみえ
I don't know. Like, is this like a, like, is it like a mental thing? Is she saying I lost her right to do it? Or is it like actually in-game mechanics she's unable to because she crossed Pontifex? I don't know. Get out of here! Yo, them dark territory motherfuckers know how to use combo moves too. You better learn how to do that shit. We gotta teach these nets how to use combo moves. Bye, dragon siblings. Oh, ending. This is sad. But she wipes his ass too. She has to. He, she has to sit him down on a toilet and... Man, this is fucked up. What should I do? This is so sad, man. Oh shit, what's happening? The dragon's reacting too. What's coming? This war already happening. I hope the goblins are fucking up the people that paid us to cut the trees down. I sincerely hope so. Fuck them. Fuck them. Let's just leave. They deserve to get wiped out, bro. Sega! Shit. Right, Selka lives there. Fuck, we need to go save Selka. Alright, there's, there's still Selka. There's still Selka. Right. Fuck everyone but Selka, okay? And that's it, man! First episode of the final season of SC that's been out for far, but... Man. What a sad, sad episode. What a... This is not fun, man. This is the just the aftermath of what happened in the finale of season three. And Kirito is now obviously in a vegetative state. He has some body functions, but it's just not there because the fluck like got, you know, fried as the explanation said from last episode. So what are we going to do? Kirito will return to his senses, but I'm not sure how exactly that's going to work. I'll, I don't think we can really do anything until there's like outside interference. I wonder if there's anything going to change in here. And I still want to know, are we still under attack? Or do we make it into the upper branch or upper staff or something that's safe haven that um you know Kikoka was saying? And Asuna, remember at the end of last episode, Asuna was descending from the heavens. I thought she was a link starting to get in there, but maybe that was just bullshit imagery. But right now, this is pretty much the state of affairs, right? The Integrity Knights are still gaslighting Kirito because they just don't know the fucking real truth. People are still wary. Alice has lost any determinations to fight, and she's just kind of taking care of Kirito. The Integrity Knights are pretty much cooked because we're trying to train up other members, but there's not enough people. And a raid from the Dark Territory is already happening, and everything's looking pretty bad. Who's gonna bail us out? I'm not sure. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.